So if you're all ready and settled in, let's get right into today's Flashback Friday. We've done a few from the 80s, we've done quite a bit from the 90s, but today we are hitting the 2000-2001 Tops Premiere Plus. Now, considering there are about 11 subsets in this release, I think having a 140-card base set, along with the rookies, is just perfect. Not too big, not too small. It's good. Technically speaking, it was 141 cards. They just had to go and throw a wrench in there and add an unnumbered card. But its purpose kind of made sense because it was, after all, a checklist card. Although it also was an oversized card, so it didn't quite fit with the rest of the cards in the set. And they certainly weren't shy adding rookies, total of 36. Who do we get? Who do we get? Andrew Raycroft, Steven Reinprecht, Ratislav Klesla. I say that right? Martin Havlat, Scotty Hartnell, David Abisher, Marty Turco. And that is, of course, just to name a few. The one cool thing they did with this base set was they actually made the base cards red and black. And you can easily pinpoint the rookies because they were blue and black. It looked really good. Let's go and jump on in to the subsets. Premier Aspirations. Just to start things off was a 10 card set, which was all foil. Wait, wait, wait. I forgot something. I forgot something. The majority of these subsets had foil, which made these cards very susceptible to chipping. Did I mention that the Aspiration subset was a 10 card set? I know I mentioned the foil. Club Signings. Now this was a nine card set. However, there were six cards that were autographed by one player, whereas three were actually duels. The single autographs were inserted randomly into packs at a ratio of one in every 219 packs. Yeah, to make things much more complicated to get a duel, you had way more packs to open. The duels were available randomly in packs at a ratio of one in 1,751 packs. We move on to the next subset called Game Pieces. This was a very interesting 18 card relic set because not only was it just focused on jersey pieces, but actually sticks as well. The jersey relic cards were actually inserted into packs at a ratio of one in every 66 packs. The sticks, on the other hand, were randomly inserted into packs at a ratio of one in every 658 packs. How many boxes is that? And if that wasn't hard enough to get, well, the combo relics were randomly inserted into packs at a ratio of one in 1,762 packs. Moving on, Masters of the Break. This 20 card set on an all foil design showcased star players in the league. How many have we, how many subsets have I gone through so far? One, two, we got more. Premier Rookies. This 10 card set showcased the top 10 rookies that were newcomers into the league that year. Randomly inserted at a ratio of one in every 12 packs. You could also obtain the Ice Blue Parallel, which was randomly inserted into packs at a ratio of one in every 213 packs and were all numbered out of 250 copies. Premier Team. I kind of look at this set like a uh, like a Topps All-Star team, sort of. This subset showcased 10 of the top players and was randomly inserted into packs, again, at a ratio of 1 in every 12 packs. And wouldn't you know it, you could also get the Ice Blue Parallel, which were randomly inserted into packs, once again, at a ratio of 1 in every 213 packs. And each of them were numbered out of 250 copies. Private signings. If there was ever a set that was tricky, this is likely the one. Since it was only a 13 card set, had ratios across the board. The rookies were randomly inserted at a ratio of one in every 175 packs, while the veterans 
were randomly inserted into packs at one in every 350. But if you wanted to try and get the Scott Gomez, you had a one in 526 pack shot of getting it. All cards in this set had a prefix with PS for their numbering. However, the Gomez had a prefix of CT for its number. I'm almost willing to bet I probably have none of those in my entire personal collection. Trophy tribute. This all foil 15 card set, as you can imagine, showcase players that won awards. I'm most certain that you definitely did not need me to tell you that. Last but not least, world premiere. This all foil 20 card set showcase star players from all different nationalities. So when we kind of put all the numbers together between all the subsets, including their parallels, that's a pretty big chunk of cards, considering the regular set in itself is only 140 cards. I suppose by today's standard size sets, this is relatively tiny. Personally, I think this set looks really nice between the base cards and every single one of the inserts. They went a little happy on the foil, but I mean, if you can find a decent copy that isn't chipped, it could look pretty nice. And that, my friends, is this week's Flashback Friday.